New details tonight about what really happened to a UT Tyler student that led to the suspension of a fraternity. He suffered a serious medical emergency during an alleged hazing incident at a Pi Kappa Phi event. Fox 51's Kara Pritchard has been digging into this story and is here to explain how an off-campus test went too far. Kara. Mike, an anonymous student at the university is revealing what happened almost a year ago in November of 2016. Now you will notice we have changed his voice and darkened his face. Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity. It's been an organization here on the UT Tyler campus for a decade. Last week, chapter operations were suspended temporarily, 10 months after a fraternity initiation gone wrong. The National Fraternity has a test that um, they've created to test the knowledge of um, Greek life and then Pi Kappa Phi as a whole. The event happened at a fraternity member's house off campus. The garage you see behind me is where associate members were being questioned by then active members. Questions to where it, you would be able to tell if the, if the associate has studied or not. And um, one of the associates didn't get one of the questions right and they were asked to line up against the wall and do some physical activity as far as like wall sits um, hit on their knees and stuff like that um, until the entire pledge class could get the questions right. That's when they noticed one of the young men collapsed and started to have a seizure. Our source says he was unconscious and stopped breathing, but eventually he came to and refused to be taken to the hospital. He felt fine except for you know, having a slight headache from the seizure, so he stayed um, with the group and he didn't go to the hospital until about 45 minutes later he had a second seizure. That's when Pi Kappa Phi members took him to Trinity Mother Francis Hospital in Tyler. He was released the next day. The, the leadership, um, including the chapter advisor, didn't report it because the associate member was ultimately okay. He didn't suffer any long-term damage from the seizure. He says no alcohol was involved that night. However, neighbors in this area say they've had problems with parties and trash being left behind. But it has been quiet the last six months. We spoke to an, an alumni member of the chapter. He had no comment because the investigation is ongoing. All acts of hazing should be reported from any organization because no matter how big or small, that doing something small leads, leads to the potential of doing something big and then someone not surviving it. Pi Kappa Phi's mission is to create an uncommon and lifelong brotherhood that develops leaders and encourages service to others for the betterment of their communities. And just because one person failed to represent those values doesn't mean that the national organization or the, even the local chapter is less because one person failed to represent it in the light that it should be. He says he came forward now and hopes something like this never happens again. Now, the university says they have no further comment. The, injured, the student who was injured no longer attends UT Tyler. And coincidentally, it is National Hazing Prevention Week on campuses across the country. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kara Pritchard, Fox 51 News. Thanks, Kara. Residents in